What's going on guys? In this video, we're gonna take a look at how to get Wiimotes working with the Dolphin emulator without using a Dolphin bar. So this is gonna be just Wiimotes directly through Bluetooth using a regular simple infrared sensor bar. So the first thing we have to look at is right here in the Dolphin website, uh, we have a list of Bluetooth adapters that work or don't work, right? It's all listed here. It says what works, what functions work, what functions don't work. Now, the one I tested is this last one here because it has a yes across the board, except for limited audio, which is not as vital. So, um, and this is readily available on Amazon. So if we look on Amazon for this uh, description here of this, of this uh, Bluetooth adapter, you're gonna get a bunch of results. Now, make sure you select the correct one and I will leave a link in the description but if in the future that link doesn't work anymore, just make sure you look and select the correct one. You know, the one on here is UB400, all right? So just make sure you select the correct one, which is this one right here. All right, so that's that's the one you wanna use. Now, your mileage may vary. You know, if you have already, uh, if you already own like a Bluetooth uh, USB receiver adapter, that might work, just test it out and see if it works for you or not. I actually had one laying around and that actually worked. It was an Asus one in addition to this one here, which is one of the recommended ones. I don't think the Asus one is on here that I have, and I plugged it in, tested it, and it works great. But I did test the built-in Bluetooth uh, from my Lenovo PC, and that did not work. It actually let me connect the controller, and it started working at first, and I thought it was working, but then it started disconnecting very frequently and just acting funky. So um, if you have a built-in Bluetooth on your PC, go ahead and try it. If it works, great. If it doesn't, what you want to do before you use something like this is you want to go over here. I'm going to go to my start menu. And if you just start typing, if you guys don't know this, if you start typing, you don't need an actual search bar here. If you just click on start, you start typing. I'm going to type in device and then go to device manager. What you want to do is you want to go over here to Bluetooth and you want to right click on your Bluetooth device that shows up and you want to go to disable device. That way it turns off the built-in Bluetooth of your PC. Now you can go ahead and plug in uh, this one or one like it that you've purchased and uh, it'll, you know, it'll be the primary Bluetooth device without the other one interfering. Now, obviously you're gonna need a sensor bar. So if you go on Amazon and you search for PC Wii sensor, you wanna get just a simple sensor bar like this one here. You don't want the Mayflash. I have a video on the Mayflash. I'll link it in the description. Now, here is a set of controllers that I tested and I'll leave a link in the description to these. And I also tested another set that I'll leave a link to and they both work great. So I had no issues and I also had no issues with original Wiimotes. So the Bluetooth is definitely more versatile. So again, you don't want the Mayflash bar for this method. You want just a regular old USB a sensor bar like this one that all it does is it sends out infrared that's it it has no other functionality but that all right so now you have your bluetooth adapter you have your sensor bar and you have a set of wii modes third party or original it doesn't matter so what you want to do is open up dolphin so i have dolphin open right here and it, that is going to be in my, on my systems arcade one systems is going to be emulators dolphin wii dolphin.exe and then you, uh, this opens up you go to controllers and you want to make sure that each one of these depending on how many controllers you have is set to real Wiimote like that so set it to real Wiimote all right that's it close it out now to sync the the Wiimote all you have to do is you have to hold down the one and two buttons so take a look over here you want to hold down one and two at the same time for like two seconds all right, so I'm gonna do that now. I'm gonna go back over here to Dolphin and I'm gonna hold those down for two seconds and then I'm gonna let go. And it's gonna take a few seconds. So right now they're flashing, the lights on the bottom are flashing. They're still flashing. And now they stopped. And now if you heard that, the controller vibrated and then the, uh, the one all the way to the left for player one is lit solid, all right? So that lets me know the controller uh, synced and it connected to the emulator to the Bluetooth adapter and one thing to know about this is you know even though over here on the website it said that um, that you know it stays synced this controller um, if you look here 
it says uh, remembers pairings, right? And says yes for this uh, Bluetooth adapter. I found that for me, it was not staying synced. It was not staying paired. So basically every time you start a, a gaming session, you hold down buttons one and two for two seconds, let go and then wait for it to do its thing. Now, the good thing is that you only have to do that the one time when you start your gaming session. If you quit out of game, you start up another game, play it for like, you know, 20, 30 minutes or whatever, quit out again, start up another game. You don't have to do that every time. It's going to stay sync the entire time. But now when you stop that gaming session, you're done playing for the day, you turn off your controller, you turn off your PC, you come back. Next time you want to use the Wii mote, again, you go into the Wii uh, wheel, what you're going to do right now, and you start up a game. Then you go ahead and hold down those two buttons, wait for it to do its thing about 20 seconds or so, and then you're good to go. So let's go ahead and start up Hyperspin here. I'm going to skip the intro and we're going to go up to Dolphin. Or I should say Nintendo Wii, not Dolphin. Okay, there we go. I'm going to go into the wheel and I'm just going to use Mario Kart again. So go over to M. Now I'm going to start the game with the controller off. You know, Dolphin needs to be running so that you're able to sync the controller. Otherwise, you turn it on before the game is running, nothing's going to happen. Cool. So now Dolphin is running. I'm going to hold down the one and two buttons for two seconds. One, two, let go. Now the lights are flashing. I'm waiting for them to connect. Now they went off. And if you heard that, it vibrated and the first one is lit, uh, lit solid. Obviously, if you had a second controller, the same thing would happen. You hold down one and two, it starts to blink, it vibrates, all that stuff. All right, so let's go ahead and just test it out real quick. All right, cool. It's working great. And the speaker on the Wiimote actually works, which is pretty cool. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and exit the game. Now, when I exit the game, the Wiimote stays on and it stays lit solid. Like I said before, you don't have to sync it anymore for the duration of your of your session, of your gaming session. So if you start up another game right now, it's actually just going to start up the game and you're going to hear the um, the Wiimote is going to vibrate as soon as the game starts, but you don't have to sync it again. And then you quit the game, go to the other game. Again, you should start game after game. The controller is going to work. Every time you start up a game, you will hear a, a vibration, but you don't have to hold down one and two and wait like 20, 30 seconds or any of that stuff. All right, guys, that is going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys on the next one.